Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Leo, I feel like you've wanted to be with somebody for a very long time. And I feel like you've been out in the cold, but now the person who's been blocking you from having what you wanted, I think the shoe's on the other foot now, and they're going to be out in the cold. But somebody's going to come back wanting to act like they want to be your friends, uh, be friends with you, but they're going to see your beauty and confidence, and that's going to heat up super quick to be a commitment. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Leo, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'll get into your spread and then get you some oracle cards for clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, or Leo. What's Leo need to know? Leo. Ooh, there's a tower moment in a relationship. It's a lot of fire there. You see all that? There's a lot of fire. So there's a tower moment in a relationship. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me some clarity and guidance. Give me the energy of all 12 signs around Leo, starting with Aries, please. You're dealing with an Aries. There may be an ending to a new beginning in love or something's transforming to a new beginning in love. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're anxious about their Empress. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like there's equal give and take with a partnership. If you're dealing with a cancer, someone has got some secrets that they regret, something that's hidden that they regret. If you're dealing with another Leo, they're passionately, or I feel like, yeah, they're passionately communicating to the emperor. It's interesting because someone's anxious about their empress could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But Leo, you're communicating to the emperor. And I feel like the emperor may be this Taurus up here. So um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's waiting to speak a harsh truth. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody may be brokenhearted because of a third party. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's very guarded and defensive about the pre-empress. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone is wanting some clarity, but there's an ending. So something, something's come full circle and somebody wants some clarity. Or the light's been shown on something that ended so something new can begin. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like someone's resting and recovering having a victory but i feel like there's a victory but then somebody's resting and recovering like really they really just gave it their all and now they're trying to get a rest get some rest so if you're dealing with if you're dealing with an aquarius somebody's apologizing or somebody's unhappy about an apology or unhappy wanting an apology discontent wanting an apology and if you're dealing with a Pisces, someone's being strategic about reconciling. So I feel like Leo, a relationship, there's a tower moment in a relationship. That's what I'm getting, a tower moment in a relationship. So something that wasn't built on a solid foundation is going to crumble in a relationship. Or you actually could be moving here. You could actually be moving um, a family. Yeah, so this actually could be moving as well. So take it out, resonates with you. So let's get into your reading, Aries. Oh, this isn't Aries, this is Leo. Okay, so Leo, let's get into your reading. Leo, let's get into your reading. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Leo, you're looking back at the past, the mistakes that were made about something hidden. Something that you have some regrets about that's causing you a little bit of anxiety. Um, you want justice here for a long time. Out in the cold from your two of cups. 
moving forward. I feel like you want to be with somebody. You want to be with somebody. Um, okay, I'm just saying. You may be out in the cold from your two of cups or your partnership, but you may be moving on wanting to be with a third party, Leo. So let's see what's going on here. Someone's very guarded and defensive about a new passionate beginning with somebody from their past. Someone here is heartbroken about a third party. Someone's going to be blocked. Someone's trying to block because they're unhappy about a third party. Under the bottom of the deck, they're watching. They got their eye on you, okay? Somebody, somebody's watching. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? What does Leo need to know? Okay, looking back at the past mistakes, wanting to be with somebody, wanting to offer that love. But there's a hidden third party here. There is a hidden third party. And somebody has some regrets. And they're being very strategic. They're not showing emotion about that, though. But they do, they do have it. They're just not showing it. They're anxious, needing to recover. Wanting justice. King of Wands. I feel like this is your energy. You're coming in very masculine, but I feel like you're wanting justice. You've wanted justice for a long time because somebody was trying to win at all cost, and you want for a long time. I feel like there's, yeah, somebody's been playing mind games trying to win at all costs for a long time. Out in the cold is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, out in the cold. So some, you're not with somebody. You're not with your Two of Cups. And you need some strength because you're not with this person. Um, moving forward, heartbroken. Wanting to be with somebody and have that passionate new beginning. But I feel like this. The Three of Cups is clarified by the Three of Cups. I feel like there's a third party here. But this person is your Two of Cups. You know this person's your person. You know this person's your person, but I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups again. Why is the Three of Cups here twice? Because someone's now being strategic, not showing emotion. And I feel like this is now to reconcile. Someone's got a plan to reconcile. I feel like that's what it is. It's not about the third party. You're brokenhearted about a third party because somebody may, may have moved on to a third party. Um, but you're out in the cold. Let me clarify that one in a relationship. Yeah. Okay, so very guarded and defensive, wanting a new passionate beginning with somebody from the past, wanting to work on their happiness in a Ten of Cups situation and communicate that. But I feel like heartbroken third party is blocked now. Trying to heal, to speak a truth, being anxious, anxious, um, I feel like Queen of Cups ending. Very discontent about an option. At a crossroads, holding on, wanting to reconcile and have a new beginning. Feeling there's burdens with you in a relationship, but watching, feeling a lot of regret for the deception, wanting to apologize. Okay? I'm going to set this to the side for a second. Leo. Someone's heartbroken, either working on blocking somebody or a third party's blocked, okay? A heartbroken third party's blocked, wanting to heal. Somebody's wanting to heal and speak a truth, but they're anxious. They're up in their head, sleepless nights. Um, they may be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They're coming in in a feminine energy, though, using their intuition. I feel like to end in something that they're not happy about with an option. Okay. So I feel like they're ending a situation and that's why they're blocking a third party. And I feel like this isn't your energy because you're out in the cold already. Um, 
you may have been blocked already by this other person because of this third party, but I feel like the shoe's on the other foot here. The shoe is on the other foot because now they're at a crossroads on how to hold on um, and reconcile to have a new beginning of love and abundance. But they, they know that there's going to be burdens with you. There's going to be burdens with you in this relationship because of the third party. And, and they're watching you. They know that there's going to be burdens here because of what they've done to you in the past. That they regret. They're watching you. Having some regret for their deception. That's why you have, that's why the burdens are. Because they may have done you dirty. Okay? And they need to apologize. They definitely need to apologize. So, Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Leo, please. Okay, you need to, there was something that you're trying to purge here. So, something you're letting go of to balance the scale to communicate for them to return. So, they're releasing something so they can balance the scale to communicate with you and return. And refocus their energy. Refocus their energy. And yes, yes, they settled. They settled, okay? Now they want a fresh start in a commitment. And they have big dreams here. Big dreams. Big dreams, okay? I think it's going to go from friendship to commitment, um, beauty, uh, you, yeah, and confidence. They see your beauty and confidence. They want to be committed. They need willpower. <laughs> That's what this is about, too. Okay. Ooh, courage. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, like, this is what, this is what's holding them back. Okay. They may come in wanting this friendship, right? But it's going to go from friendship to commitment. Because they see your beauty and your confidence and they need the willpower. They can't, they, they don't have the willpower. I feel like they don't have the willpower because of your beauty and confidence here. I feel they don't. So that's why it's going to go from friendship to commitment because of this, because of that. Um, financial health, I feel like you're going to be solid with one another. Uh, but somebody's needing the courage to come in. This may be you. I feel like this may be your energy, um, Leo, because you're you're the lion here, okay? So you're needing some strength, okay? I feel like you're needing some strength too because, you know, this person's going to refocus their energy towards you because it's like they may come in as a friend and then they're like automatically going to go from one to the next. It's going gonna, it's gonna to heat up quickly is what I feel like. So, Leo, I'm going to take this to the extended and see what else, what else kind of clarity get my words right, what else I can find out for you and give you clarity. So with that, if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.